leave God to be God. And let me say this. Oftentimes, God is in the business of getting you to a point where you better trust him or you get into more trouble. He took the children of Israel and uh, headed to the desert. That means no planting, no sowing, no buying, no reaping, no commerce. And he gave them gold, though, gave them silver, gave them money, but they are not going to use it because they have nobody to buy from. And then he got them to a place where there was no road. How are we going to cross? You know, if they are gone there and they try to figure out, you know what we are going to do? Um, Moses, um, this thing, I don't know how we are going to swim now. Let us wait a little while. Will I carry my wife on the back? And the children, what of the cattle and the heads? What of the dog? Uh, maybe we are going to look at uh, cattle. How are we going to make them swim now? You see, all these are confusion. But God knew that there's a dual carriage he's going to construct in that Red Sea. And he kept quiet. He didn't tell Moses ahead. You see, God does not owe you every information. If God tells you everything A to Z, then there's no faith in the process. Sometimes you need to trust his character. That's all you needed. You know he's a consistent person. He's good. He's awesome. He's loving. He cares. And that's enough. You trust him. And then you just go. You know. But when the time Pharaoh came. Listen to this. Did God allow the children of Egypt to meet the children of Israel? No. When they got close, he moved from the pillar of fire in front of them. Went to their back created a barrier between them and the children of Israel so they couldn't come close to them which means he still was working but you know when he went there he didn't say mm -hmm. now nah, I will make a ship appear probably they were trying to figure out uh, well, are we going to put a boat how many boats can cross here now you know this kind of stuff uh, God didn't bother Moses went to cry and said hey, why are you crying to me what's the problem just tell them to move on he said move on he said yes move on Stretch that staff over there and move on. Uh, uh, and then Moses said, uh, uh, I think I've seen you in action enough. Let me go do the same thing. He went and stretched for his Lord. Right there before him, a wonder happened for all eternity to be recorded. And there was a dual carriage road, massive. And they were walking majestically. And they can touch the water. You see, listen to me. God might not do anything. See, God did not open that water before they reached there. He allowed them to even reach there and wait for some time. I, I just helped somebody. Because sometimes we, 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 you know, we are trying to figure out, oh, Father, before the month ends, so the money would have come and I would have paid. God may allow the month to reach and pass five days. So that your nerves, sometimes not that God enjoys it. It's just that we are the prop. We, we, we set these things in our head and we want to fit God into our time clock. God never comes late, but surely it may not be too early. I, I, I like to get you to see. I don't know if you see what I'm trying to say. All that you need is to say what God has said. Keep saying it. Keep saying it. Now, remember what I said before. Homo legeo. Homo legeo. What that means is saying the same thing with God. And what that thing means in Greek is coming to covenant with God. Agreeing with God. And when you agree with God, both of you cannot work together. For two cannot work together. Except they agree. Emostrate three. 